stream. This should be live. Let me click this link. Just want to make sure before we roll. That's the link I gave you. All right, guys, uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of On Chain and Uncut. Tonight's guest is Punk Tavian from Roman Punks. Punk Tavian, thank you so much for, for joining me this evening. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great show. We've got tons of stuff in store for you guys. We've got a couple giveaways of Roman Punks. You know, those things are hard to come by as uh, you can only get them in their Discord at the moment. So um, that's exciting. We will be going through all the links as far as websites and uh, the projects on both Ethereum and Wax. All links can be found below in the video description. Um, so we will go through that tab by tab and let Punctavian talk us through his project. Uh, let's start this thing off and do a quick giveaway just to, just to kick things off. So boom, there's a giveaway. All right, cool. Punctavian, welcome, bud. Hey, thanks, Coins. Huh. <laughs> this is this is our first one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, chat here, live video chat. I mean, we've been we've been uh, hooked up since early April, I believe. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, long overdue to understate the uh, the value of this call. So, um, you know, we've. <laughs> For, for those who don't know, uh, me and Punctavian hooked up via the Ethereum Roman Punks project, like you say, in April. Um, and uh, I did a little marketing for them and then went full bore with it, and I'm Roman for life. So um, very exciting things to be to be here with Punctavian and, and rocking and rolling. So um, Punctavian, you got me? You look frozen. Okay, good, cool. Um, why don't you uh, Why don't you kick it off for us? Let's start with uh, why Romans. Um, your Roman Punks website, which is beautiful, by the way, your .io. Um, why don't you walk us through uh, through what brought you into the NFT space in the beginning? Why Ethereum, and what your thoughts are converting to Wax eventually? Yeah. Well, first of all, that. Uh... Thanks for having me. Um, and the website is very much under construction still, as is everything. You know what they say, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it, right. <laughs> I've got that one in there. Um, but yeah, we have been we have been going since April 1st was when we, we launched, this, launched this project. And when I say we, I mean me and Cleopunctra, who is our resident artist, also my life partner and cohabitant so <laughs> we, we are a family-based project first and foremost um and cleo is a full-time illustrator and so she she studies at sheridan college in canada which is one of the top institutes in the country for illustration and so we've wanted to get into art projects and NFT art projects since we first heard about NFTs, like January, February, threw a bunch of her art pieces up on Rarible, you know, and sure. kind of figured out what's going on with the scene, you know, learning a little bit about it. Right. And uh, we we wanted to do something with gladiators for a while. And we also wanted to do something cyberpunk for a while. So that's been on our radar. Now, it was very convenient that CryptoPunks was the biggest and he arguably still is the biggest uh, NFT project out there um, because punk is what we wanted to do but cyberpunk and CryptoPunk they just fit in so well right sure, like sure cyberpunk CryptoPunk it's all about the future it's all about kind of you know 
a dystopic future, but, you know, bringing it to the people, you know, against the government kind of a thing, right? It's kind of like an, an attitude, it's an idea. Right. And so there's a whole bunch of cyberpunk literature out there. Like, there's these authors, William Gibson, Philip K. Dick, that have been really inspirational to us. And uh, Neil Gaiman is another one, you know, sort of in the, the genre. But basically, like, they have, you know, there's steampunk, where it's just kind of like Victorian cyberpunk. Right. And then there's diesel right, punk, right, which right, is kind of right. like World War Two, like 1940s, like, cyberpunk. And so these are called cyberpunk derivatives. And so we were like, well, why not? No one has done a Roman cyberpunk derivative yet. So we're like, hey, let's bring it out. Let's do something like Roman setting, but make it all, like, futuristic and cybery and, like, you know kind of dystopic with time travel and whatnot so that's what you got you know what you see is what you get really so we started out on eth on open sea just because that was the easiest option for us at the time and it also seemed and still seems to be the biggest market yeah and so that was the main reason for us to launch on eth and we like being on eth and continuing our on our eth the plan is to have a thousand unique characters they're all one-on-one art pieces and they're on ethereum and we have 601 now out of a thousand and so um once there's a thousand on there that's it there won't be any more on that eth collection so a thousand unique one-on-one avatars in a you know in an era where you've got you know ten thousand generative ones that are computer generated right so with roman punks you're getting something that where each one is is like there are pieces that there are accessories that get repeated so some are are more rare than others but it's all in the eye of the beholder really it's like what you like which pieces do you like so we wanted to build a project where people like to have the pieces because they want to use it as a profile picture or they want to build that character's history and identity you know in, in this in this story world building universe that we've got mm-hmm. set up mm-hmm. so yeah so I, I, we've got the ETH thing going on as you can see here on OpenSea you know there's you know a whole bunch of of, uh, of characters and we just dropped actually you're running through now what you're running through here these 0. .06 these were just dropped today so this is fresh nice now um if you open one of those so just open one of those one of those uh 0.06 go to the properties and if you go to that property here it says brf1 type so this is this is a unique um this is a unique property because these these pieces qualify for a raffle so vrf is associated with Chainlink. Okay. So um, Chainlink has a technology called verified randomness function. Mm -hmm. So it allows you to select a random number and have it verified and proven on on chain. So we're doing a giveaway. So once those 100 pieces sell, we will run the VRF smart contract and be able to award prizes um, based on, you know, on chain verified. So it's not like there can't ever be any accusations of like, oh, you're giving it away yeah, to your yeah, friend no, or no. anyone thinking like, you know, it's proven on the chain. And and so the grand prize for that is actually you can go and you can, you can see it. And if you go to, actually, if you go to the Twitter page there at the top, I can point you to where you can see where sure, the prize I'm not, is. I'm not logged Scroll in. down a little bit. Um, and there you can see there, open that, open that one up. Uh, okay. So this is uh, chain link Jupiter. So what you've got is um, Sergey Nazarov, who is the founder of chain link uh, as Jupiter in the Roman Conquest collection, holding a, a chain link lightning rod. Nice, and so nice. And that, this, that, I don't want to cut you off Ian, but that's what I want to, uh, kind of elaborate on that you kind of you kind of scaled over that that is a big part of what I see as your project and what got me so in tune in the beginning 
you know, you are a, a Roman society. You're built with the columns. Rome wasn't built in a day. You've got the whole, the whole synopsis of the Roman Empire within your collection. But each Roman is not necessarily a Roman. I mean, the attention to detail uh, and and the you know the pop culture aspect of a lot of your pieces. It's just like the thought and the detail and the thoroughness behind each and every piece you do it's not just like oh let's give them some red hair and a candle oh this guy will be drinking a beer and have a turkey leg etc cetera, etc cetera. then yeah you like that didn't you so there there's so much attention to detail and it's and it's so thought through it's not like okay well we can make an elton john we can make you know um you know whatever what have you um yeah. it's it, it's all got a it's all got a purpose behind it and and I, I just wanted to mention that because i've been so involved in your project from the get um like i think that's a huge you know point of entry for people i think the attractiveness not only you know for profile pictures etc as a roman or wanting to be part of your you know community but um, there's a lot of like special Romans that have either a pop culture background or just uh, a background that is very relatable to individuals. And I know you kind of said that, but like the way that you thought this whole collection through is just um, very thorough. Uh, and I think I think there's there's a huge congratulations that needs to go to you for the amount of thought and effort you've put into the project. Yeah, I really appreciate that, Coins. I mean, like, you know how much effort we have put yeah. into it. We've seen each other been grinding away, you know, yeah. over the last six months, constantly, 18 hours a day. Right. Um, and, you know, Cleo as well, you know, like, yeah, we'll have to get her on in the next so show so she can talk about specifically the artwork and how she, you know, designs it. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just, we, we not only, we started out by coming with the idea to build a thousand unique characters but a thousand unique characters have a thousand unique stories behind them right right so they're not just okay well we have a thousand nfts with pictures and oh what's the utility of these nfts it's they are part of the roman punk empire right. that's what they are that's the utility right now we're early so that it has yet to be fully realized you know, but once we get the thousand pieces, that's it, the collection's wrapped, then we have a thousand pieces upon which to build their character stories on our wiki. Um, we're in the process of setting up a wiki. We have on our Discord um, a fledgling community and more and more people are joining because they're interested in history and they're interested in science fiction and they're interested in literature. They're not just interested in flipping and making money off NFTs. You know, and it's hard to build up that kind of a community in this space because for the most part, people are interested in making money off NFTs. Yeah. So, right. So how do you differentiate yourself in that space? And to do so, it's just that we're just not been in a rush to try and make money. We're just, we're just building things. You know, I always say to you with Corinthian columns, because, you know, we want to have a solid foundation. Um, I, I think and, it speaks. I think it speaks for itself that not only you're building a community and, and a whole Roman empire and each each NFT has its own special character. But that NFT can just as easily stand alone. It doesn't need to be associated with the empire for it to make an impact on the NFT space, in my opinion. So yes. um, I, I, think, I think you being able to do the 1,000, they're each unique, they each have their own backstory eventually. You're just building it right. You're not, you're not cutting any corners whatsoever. Um, mm -hmm. and, I think, and I think a lot of people, you know, the, the people you just spoke to, the flippers, are the people that are investors, but they're not really hodlers. They're more mm -hmm. like short-term investors, month or two. Yes. Um, I, I think those people get frustrated with projects like yours, projects like mine, that are trying to be thought through while we're building. So we are showing motion and, and activity, but building along the way. And I think a lot of people get frustrated with that because it's not like, 
you know, win Lambo, like dog, we're like a year yeah. away from even launching like <laughs> when, the the majority <laughs> the majority of what what we're about and what we've been road mapping in our brains or on our notepads for the last six, eight months, like we spoke to, they haven't even seen that part of it yet, but they're already trying to flip and we haven't even gotten to the dinner. We're like on the in the car drinking water on the way to the restaurant like we're not yeah that's a good analogy we're not yeah. even at we're not even no, at no. the dinner table yet we haven't even sat and saw the menu or ordered appetizers and people are already like getting frustrated so yeah. I, I just want to not it can't not be on, said more yeah not not yeah. only commend you for for this for this project and how thorough it is but for your your steadfast belief in what you're doing and you staying the course like you're not, yeah. you've got blinders on, bro. Like we don't even t like for you guys at home that don't know. Like me and Ian or me and Punctavian were like every day, like multiple times a day talking. We we talk maybe once every other week, like a couple sentences, because yeah. you're you're blinders on. So um, and both of us, and it, and just it just goes to show that after six months of working together, you know, either every day or every week. This is the first time that we've had this type of a of a setting where we can chat and share about it, you know, in video in a video sense publicly because it takes that long for these small indie projects to yeah. get to the point where they are ready that you feel like you can say to the world, "Hey, look at what we have," you know? Yeah. Like at the end of the day, we have a thousand pieces in our ETH collection, but we have six hundred up, right? So. Yeah it's not ready to you know let the dogs loose into the world yet we want to collect people and bring them into our project and bring them in because they like what they see and they see potential because of they they get to know us right so um so yeah so everything you said it resonates with me a lot um you know so we do have you know a growing community of people in our discord that are helping to helping to build the community aspect of it um, we have uh, channels that are devoted to um, more of role play activities that are coming out. Mm -hmm. um, we're giving people, if they own one of the ETH pieces, a chance to build the backstory of their character um, and you know mint that story into the Roman Punks universe. So once the comic books come out, um, and that's inevitability, you know, once we get have all this built, the next stage will be to, you know, build comics and build stories out. Mm -hmm. People who join the community now and join, uh, collect our pieces now get to be a part of that, right? Mm -hmm. So that's where there is that, that extra value and an opportunity um, for people that are interested in what they see. But like you said, every piece does stand on its own, right? So mm -hmm. you can, you can like it because you, you want it as your profile pick or maybe somebody that you've never met before wants it as their profile pick right so you know once more eyes get on the project like there's there's a lot of diversity in the collection right so you know you're going to eventually find somebody that matches with that picture right like you might not have found the person now but there's going to be that like that person exists right so we we try to find as much diversity in the people that we represent the characters that we represent as possible um that being said there are also um not just people so if you go down on the left where um you can scroll down to uh type uh or rarity go to rarity actually that's the one we want to look at rarity so you can see there's an alien so just select those alien ape vampire and then you can go down, there's more um, under vampire. Oh, my bad. Yeah, zombie, yeah, cyborg, yeah, yeah, and animal. So these are the these are the, the rarer pieces. So we have, there's commoners. So the commoners make up the vast majority of the pieces, but we also have apes, vampires, zombies, cyborgs, um, and aliens, actually. There should be aliens in there too, if you look at it scroll down can you type alien where it says filter open c is weird right like yeah open c, open c is like not things. my friend so yeah um, um i have it select here how don't we why don't we do this it 
there we go now so those are the aliens right so now if you go down to see where it says type further down there yep you can see there's different types so there's soldiers gladiators plebs so see there's only one alien soldier right there so for those rarities and those types there's only one ever matching rarity to that type so if there's only one alien gladiator there's only one alien for those of you at home that means go scoop (laughs) that's what that that's what that means it's like go go to the type select a type and then go i mean go to uh rarity select a rarity then go to type select a filter on rarity soldier gladiator um equestrian etc and then scoop Yeah, so that, those ones are that yeah, those ones are guaranteed rarity because you see where it says eight vampire zombie 14, 14, 14. There's never going to be any more than that. That's the maximum that there ever is ever going to be for that. Um, the colors on these are crazy, type. bro. Cleo, Cleo did uh, she did a good job with these. The you know you know eighties and nineties kid I am. You know I'm already attracted to these to these eighties and nineties colors. Um, yeah yeah these are these are gorgeous man they are gorgeous. yeah so the, these are the pieces um and there's a lot more coming we plan to have thousand done before the end of the year um now there is also some some u- more utility i can talk about um there are the gladiator matches um that i can talk about um and then there's also the wax pieces that i can that i can discuss yeah let's uh why don't you brief over the uh the gladiator um and then we'll go into wax um for those of you that aren't in the discord i highly suggest jumping in their discord because they have the most beautiful discord build out i've ever seen and we've been doing this a long time as far as punctavian and i on different projects and I, i've been involved in a lot but uh, the way that's built out, they've got casino, they got games, they've got giveaways, they've got there's always some kind of activity going on. They got these gladiator matches where they're battling each other, um, depending on what you hold and and what type you hold, um, how many how many dice rolls you get, depending on which kind of gladiator you have, whether he's strong or not strong. I mean, there's all kinds of things going on behind. Like me and me and Punk Tabian could talk with you guys for hours about his project. I mean, it's just so uh, thorough. I guess is the best way to say it. But yeah, um, why don't you tell us about the gladiators, and then we'll move into uh, the wax collection. Well, if you if if you select the gladiator or the fighting pieces, then I'll, as I talk about them, sure. Then what that would you, be what great. do you want me to what do you want me to so deselect all of those. Okay, and then. Um, go down to and select soldier gladiator on type and then there should be centurion there as well okay you can go ahead and start talking there he is centurion all right cool so these three types or classes are known as the fighting classes and so um these characters have different strengths attached to them and so if you own one of those NFTs on ETH, then they will automatically be entered into the next Gladiator tournament. So we had a Gladiator tournament back in the summer. We had the summer of Gladiators, and the first prize was uh, Medusa NFTs and a Cyclops NFT. And so um, what it, how it works is we just have dice rolls. So the the equipment and the rarity of the character determines their powers and we have a we have a power structure listing somewhere that i could show you but um basically how it works is that if you own the nft on eth it gets entered in the matches whether you do anything or not so it's it passively like the eth nfts they are automatically entered into this tournament so we've had we had a, actually a person win this medusa nft they didn't even know it we had to find them and be like hey look you won this nft because your gladiator that you have managed to make it all the way to the final and win right right 
um, sour grapes for the ones that are like part of the community. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right? right? That God's not but, even in here. <laughs> <laughs> but so now we've expanded that. So what we're doing for this next one is we're going to do it over live stream. So we're going to have live streaming uh, gladiator fights over Twitch where we'll do the, the dice rolls and make the fights happen um, over the stream. Um, but also, we've added the wax cards into the fray. So, okay. so for every ETH piece, there is a maxing, matching wax piece. So if you go, yeah, now we're on wax. If you go down, if you go down to fighters, um, well, if you go, if you go directly to our to our collection and you look at the, uh, not on the marketplace, but just go down to the the bottom and then go to schemas all the way down and then go to fighter schema so for for every eth nft there is a mashing wax one so what will happen is okay we'll roll we'll spin a wheel and we'll say okay go to that go to that now we'll go look at the card id it's 114 so we'll spin the we'll spin the wheel and we'll, okay, it'll be like okay there's 114 versus 90 so this is a fight going to happen right okay so the winners will get tallied and so there will be a dice roll and we'll decide who wins we'll tally the winners so at the end of the year at the end of the season we'll be able to count how many winners there were and then the top place person on ETH will win an epic ETH NFT and the top place person on Wax got it got it right so the eth ones get entered automatically if you don't have to do anything but if you have a wax nft and you are in the audience then you can play it uh, right so you know so it'll be all oh, one 114 versus 90. so if you have that card that's 114 you can make yourself known in the chat by linking to your ownership of it and then you get entered and then if you win then you're tally will be put onto the total for the, for the season right so we'll have prizes for each day so you'll be when you'll win common prizes that you know common cards on the day and then for the end you'll win epic ones for the, the total who you know wins the most at the end of the at the end of the, the tournament so yeah so that's how we're doing it we're gonna have we're gonna have streams starting on the 21st of october and uh we'll do interviews and we'll also you know do some other gameplay and whatnot have you know try to make you know a good hour of, of yeah fun. sure 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 and and we'll roll as many bones as we can we're gonna we're gonna have as many opportunities for people to play because you know there's a lot of fighters i think there's a total of about 150 fighting cards currently and so not everyone is going to be played every day because you know there's too many yeah no i get it so you're not gonna have a guarantee that you're fighter that you own is going to be played so people will want to collect as many fighters as they can so that they have as many opportunities to enter and to win and get their tally up right so the more you own of course the bigger chance you have of, Ooh, the of back, winning the back um, of the card i haven't i haven't ever viewed the back shout out <laughs> shout out couch surfer real quick Shout out couch surfer, right? Yeah, man. yeah, the back of the car we wanted to do it as minimalist like, yeah, no, as it looks possible great. to not no, draw looks, attention to it. Like it looks great. we don't like so what's the point of clicking on it kind of thing, right? But we also thought about the back because you know, in the eventuality that these get made into actual physical cards. Yeah, then, no, yeah, well, you need yeah, you need to have that there. It's it's kinda back, like right? we did so, with the clowns with their certificate. Not a lot of people click on it, but it's it's there just in case. Um you know, we might be shipping stuff out, and it will have a certificate with it. So, um, yeah, same th same thought, same thought. I, I I really like the back of the card that's minimalist. It looks it looks uh it looks real life. It doesn't look too like overdone. You know what I mean? Um, Thanks. We we try to keep it uh, consistent and minimalistic, and you know all the the flavor text. A lot of thought goes into those. Yeah um into those texts like we reference a lot of the content um to get those flavor texts so this one is there is no living tissue over this exoskeleton right as in like okay well cyborgs well what do you think of when you think of cyborgs okay well you think of the terminator movies 
um, okay, well, what's the famous line from the Terminator movie? Okay, living tissue over metal, endoskeleton, right? Okay, well, how can we do something similar to that, but isn't, you know, copywriting over it or infringing on it or like, you know, being too close to it. So, okay, well, there's no living tissue over this exoskeleton. That's kind of, you know, where we get that connection and, and come up with the ideas, right? Here's another one where some of them are taken from literature, right? So this one, Prisca Pecoris, Parthian soldier, in peace, daughters bury their fathers, but in war, fathers send their daughters to the slaughter. So that was a famous line um, from, I believe it might have been, uh, uh, might have been Cicero or another famous orator from back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, it says that the line originally goes, in in peace, sons bury their fathers but in war fathers send their sons to die so because it's a girl we wanted to say like okay you know the fathers send their daughters to the slaughter well there's an iron maiden song called like bring your daughter to the slaughter right so there's all sorts of kind of like literary you know pop culture references hidden yeah in those cards like tonight we dine on pluto well think about the movie 300 um they were greek they were spartan right so they the line the nine was tonight we dine in hell right and well pluto is actually the roman hell so pluto is hades and hades is greek and hades is hell so there it is you know so we're taking it inspiration from film and literature and uh twisting it into a roman punk cyber universe brother the amount of thought energy and effort you're putting into each and everything you do from from your which I don't think we have time to touch on your voxel your gladiator stadium your wax collection your open sea collection um, the build out of your discord your website which I know is under construction um, just each and everything you've done thus far man it's it's just amazing um, and I know and I know like we said earlier and and I wanted to preface that statement earlier by by saying, you know, the 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 way these these projects are built out, um, e they're either running in the background and then they're launched, you know. And a lot of times, when you bring something to market that's ready to go, you kind of blindside people. I think you building it transparently in front of your community, um, and they're they're a part of that build out. Not only um, do they understand better. You're not, you're not introducing, well, there's this, that, and the other, and then there's this collection, and then there's on this blockchain, and then we got voxels over here, and we got this Discord. By the way, there's gladiator rounds over here. We've got this over here. We got this chain link thing going on. Like, you know what I mean? If you just came to market with the, the amount of uh, moving parts your project has, yep. I, don't, I think it would like, it would just overwhelm. Fall. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Yeah. A and yeah. people and people wouldn't understand the the gravity of what you're trying to do and where it's going, which is well on into the future. And through the waves, the peaks and valleys of this crypto market, this NFT space, you know, we're not we're not anywhere towards where this is going. Nobody no even way. nobody even knows the amount of stuff that the NFT space is going to provide. I mean, nobody's talking about medical records being in the form of an NFT with instant transactions between doctor's offices or concert tickets being in the form of an NFT that after the fact, that ticket can be a collectible sold on the secondary market. Nobody's talking about that yet. There are so many things within this space that you know, we don't like being close to it. When we take a breath and look up, we go to the bank, the coffee shop, whatever. People ask what we do. You know, nine out of 10 people look at you cross-eyed and say, I don't understand. Yeah. I've just told people like, I'm an art dealer. That's, that's my way around it because otherwise you're in a 45 right. minute conversation when you're just trying to buy a, a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Um, I, I think the way you're building this um, frustrating at times as it may be, For sure. um, it, 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 you are building this the right way, bro. Um, uh, thank you. I appreciate that coins. Like, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to build up intellectual property here. And in the process, if people want to join along the way, then that's great. We're not trying to pay the rent with this project. We're not trying to 
flip and make a big buck tomorrow, right? Like everything that we do is to build up the collection, not build up our coffers full of Ethereum and, and, and wax pee. So we're first and foremost trying to build the collection and build the community with this. Um, speaking of which, you've got a couple giveaways we can do there, hey? Yeah, I actually dropped one a second ago while you were talking. I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> oh, perfect. We got Honda Mitsubishi there. That That's a winner. Yeah, Couchsurfer is the number one mint owner. Well, by the way, it's worth mentioning as well that if anyone owns the Ethereum piece, they get the number one mint of the matching wax card. So if anybody has an Ethereum piece and they see the matching wax card has been made, they can DM me and request their number one mint wax card. Beautiful. Not all of them have been made. We're at 601 on Ethereum today. Hey, but look. Wax is only about 100 and, 120, 30. Oh, look there. There you go. That's my very first Roman, boys and girls. I also believe that was the first scroll down to see when that was sold that was the very first six months well that's it this is what uh introduced punctavian and i six months ago it's been six months my friend let's see what the date date was april 10th april 10th crazy boys crazy well, brother, I really appreciate you coming on, man. Um, I appreciate you having me. I and, need, yeah, I need next you, time I'll have I need to, you to with... come back and maybe bring Cleo. Yeah, no, we'll have to bring Cleo for sure. Um, yeah. I, I know I want to I want to kind of cut you in sections as far as an interviewee because there is just so much. So we'll, we'll kind of like stop it here. Um, yeah, no, what, for sure. What do you have uh, in the way of like a 60 second rundown of things that are happening in the near future that you want people to, to be aware of. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks. We've got a fighter pack on wax happening on October 7th. We've got the first fighter gladiator match happening on October 21st. We currently have the chain link raffle open on open C, so you can go buy those pieces now for 0.06 and qualify to be entered for the chain link raffle and we are building a coliseum on sandbox um sandbox we could have spent an entire interview talking about that alone yes. um but uh, you know and it takes quite a bit of time you know to build that project if you go quickly to our twitter just to give everyone like the quickest little glance yeah absolutely yeah i'm sorry I'm, see, this is like, my dummy account i'm not the update like if you go down there under scroll down a little bit you can see that's your what you know our coliseum uh come on man oh yeah you're not like that it's okay um you can see you know we've got a sub basement there but you know a dungeon we've got a, a, a battleground and then we've got levels of stands happening and then it's going to go all the way up into the sky with platforms there's going to be all kinds of like zombies you can fight in there kind of super mario sort of like jumping on platforms to get at things it's going to be fun. Um, once that's up, we're also going to use it for Twitch streams, and we can have gladiator battles so actually sick. with our voxel characters in there. So sick. you know, like right now we're doing dice rolls. It's like, well, that's the capacity what we have now. Well, yeah, right? like, I mean, it's low. T- it's low tech. It's low, it's tech, low tech, right? tech. It's low tech, and it's low cost. And that's you don't need to add another moving part to where you're trying to go because that's going to impede your progress of where you're trying to go ultimately which is you know organically evolve into the actual what you're seeing here which is the stadium voxel land actuality of 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 like things moving around and hitting each other i'm assuming for sure um and if you scroll up to the top of the twitter at the pinned one there yeah you can see that on the right is nft that was used to inspire the voxel character on the left so beautiful we're in the process of building gladiator ring and creating voxel versions for every single one of the the roman punks um so that we can have a space for the roman punks to live in the 3d world because right now it's low tech but you know that's what our capacity is like you know you just said right like 
we don't want to write checks that our assets can't cash. Like we don't want to over promise and under deliver. We want to under promise and over deliver. So right. that's what we're all about. We're about kind of like building and building and building and growing at a sustainable rate. And then when we're ready, boom world, here we are. And I let the, let the folks pour in. So, um, yeah, so we're all of, all of you who are listening. We really appreciate all the people that are part of our discord community. We love all you guys. Absolutely. Um, we couldn't do it without you and coins same to you. You've been with us from the very, very day one. Um, you know, props brother. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank for you. having us yeah, on. Yeah. No worries. No time. Um, so before we jump out of here, guys, this chain link thing, once they hit a hundred sales, so they're all, you know, completely sold out. Um, this chain link with their uh, random number generator via smart contract. Chainlink not only is a great token to hold in the crypto world, but this is going to be utilized by probably pretty much everybody. Um, Correct. This, yeah. this is acquired by going to their OpenSea collection. Just wanted to re brief this. Type VR F1 100 and then buying any of these .06 gets you an automated uh, raffle ticket within raffle this ticket. space to enter into this. So to win the Jupiter Sergei Nazarov. So um, and if, if you saw a picture of Sergei Nazarov, you'd realize that, that he does look like Jupiter or rather Jupiter looks like him now. So, um, you know, Chainlink is funny because if you, if you look at the Chainlink community on Twitter, they love their memes. Mm -hmm. They have, they all have Pepe pictures as their profile pictures. Right, they right. have this thing called the chain link. Uh, what are the, the chain link Marines where they have ranks. They're like, <laughs> Oh, I'm Lieutenant <laughs> Colonel, like so-and-so because I own this much chain link. Like I'm right. a, I'm a private man. Like I have like, you know, just enough chain link, like maybe in the level of corporal, <laughs> but it's funny, man, the chain link guys, they love this kind of stuff. So that's why we were like, Oh, it's perfect. You know, this is great, um, man. This is, this is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> You know, when I when I joined with you and, you know, we kind of, you know, made our way through the NFT space together, kind of holding hands, you know, marketing, doing the Discord, having the Sunday night live to enter, you know, be present to win. Remember those? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, right. like from the from the very beginning, you know, I saw your vision, but you have exceeded what I saw. I mean, it's hats off, bro. Um, Thanks. And, and you know what it is? It's about the grind, right? It's about we've been working on this every single day and haven't taken a vacation since April 1st. So yeah. Um, yeah. That, these are the fruits of, of our of our labors. And we're not going to stop until uh, those 1000 ETH pieces are minted and the Coliseum is built. And we have a Discord community that can run on autopilot because okay. people are in there building their character stories up and loving every minute of it. So props to those that are there now and are with us now. And, uh, you know, we have a solid contingent of people that are there, you know, like Romans for life, right? Romans for so, life. So yeah, that's what this is all about. This is uh, super early for this whole uh, NFT space is of madness, you know? Um, and it's foolish for people to think like, oh, why isn't this, profitable yet why isn't this profitable like we talked about earlier but you know for us as creators and community developers it's just all about not giving up hope and knowing what we're doing is the right thing and we're in the right market for it correct correct well again brother thank you so much for coming on you know there's a lot of things we don't have which is time you know either one of us and and, exactly. and most people you know so this is the most value uh thing you have is time so i appreciate you sharing it with me um, Word. For you guys uh, at home, uh, all the links to everything we discussed are in the video description. So you've got it right there uh, laid out for your convenience, as well as go give them a follow on Twitter, follow them on Instagram, and jump in the Discord. I mean, if you need to know anything about the Roman Punks, jump in that Discord. All the links are below. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, as always. Um, we will be off air for the next week as I'm going to be out of town, but get ready for a fun filled rest of the year because we're starting to fill up fast. Auction series are coming back. So we're going to be slamming uh, the week after next with lots of exciting stuff. So um, thanks again for tuning in. Punctavian, 
you know, it's, it's been beautiful. I, I really appreciate your time, my friend. Thanks, yeah. everyone. And uh, we will see you guys in about a week and a half. Have a great night. Thanks, Coins. Yeah, no Cheers.